Sami Zayn trashes the bloodline, Cody Rhodes reveals why he wrestled Seth Rollins with a major injury at Hell in a Cell, Vince McMahon said about it, Cody Rhodes heaps praise on Seth Rollins, Finn Balor gives himself a hilarious new nickname after Royal Rumble, Solo Sokoa pledges loyalty to Roman Reigns following Sami Zayn's betrayal, Sami Zayn reunites with Kevin Owens. Let's jump right into it. Cody Rhodes reveals why he wrestled Seth Rollins with a major injury at Hell in a Cell, and Vince McMahon said about it. WWE superstar Cody Rhodes has detailed the reason behind his wrestling Seth Rollins with a major injury at the Hell in a Cell Premium Live event. Since returning to WWE at WrestleMania, Rhodes has been on a roll. The former AEW TNT champion emerged as Seth Rollins' mystery opponent at the show of shows and went on to have three matches with the Visionary. The third match in the trilogy came at Hell in a Cell, where the American Nightmare fought with a torn pectoral muscle to emerge victorious. Speaking in an interview with Logan Paul and his crew on the Impulsive Podcast, the American Nightmare briefly brought up John Cena, who has previously recovered quite quickly from some of the worst injuries. Cody Rhodes mentioned that he was fully determined to step into the ring against Rollins inside the Hell in a Cell structure. I mean, it made me feel like, the pay-per-view that we were going through, Hell in a Cell. You're supposed to be like, oh, I've been in the end zone before, I haven't? Right. I've been close but I'm going to Hell in a Cell, the poster's this giant photo of me, it's the most peacock, new subs for this PLE, this premium live event. They all want to see this Hell in a Cell match with Seth and I in the arena, it's just my face on the chairs and what I thought was, maybe I don't have it, maybe I don't have what John has, you know. He further added that the 16-time world champion is his role model and that he refused to give up. Cena because he was my role model when I was here, maybe I don't, maybe there's a reason it didn't happen. And that's why I was so adamant about, we're not going to do some stupid thing backstage. No knocking that, you should never wrestle injured but I wasn't going to have it any other way, said Rhodes. Roman Reigns will put the undisputed WWE Universal Championship on the line against Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 39. The match was confirmed on this week's Raw after Cody Rhodes laid out the challenge to the Tribal Chief, who successfully retained his titles against Kevin Owens at the Royal Rumble. On Raw, Rhodes stated that in 62 days, he would be the one to dethrone Reigns and become the new head of the table. This comes after Rhodes won the 30-man Royal Rumble match after entering at number 30 and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gunther during the closing stages of the match. The former AEW star dumped the current Intercontinental Champion over the top rope for the win. It remains to be seen whether Rhodes will emerge as the new undisputed WWE Universal Universal Champion at the end of WrestleMania. Do you think Rhodes will be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns? Let us know in the comments section below. Cody Rhodes details what Vince McMahon told him ahead of wrestling with major injury at WWE Hell in a Cell. Former Intercontinental Champion Cody Rhodes recently revealed that former WWE CEO Vince McMahon was prepared to call off his Hell in a Cell match against Seth Rollins. Ahead of the match, the American Nightmare suffered from a torn right pectoral muscle, which was exacerbated after Rollins attacked him on Raw the night after Hell in a Cell 2022. The 37-year-old recently sat with Logan Paul on his impulsive podcast and discussed the conversation with Vince McMahon during the Hell in a Cell match. I wasn't going to have it any other way. I had to have the match at least. It was simple, it was completely torn, there was nothing else that could happen to it. Knew I wasn't going to take no. I had a great conversation with him and he was really clear about, hey man, if you're struggling out there, we've got to call it, Rhodes said. Rhodes also disclosed that he was in shock. He also added that referee Rod Zapata checked in with him throughout the match to ensure he was fine to continue. I was just on Planet Z I was in shock. You know, shock puke where you feel like you're going to vomit. Like, when you break a bone or whatever. I hit something up front and thought, nope, and I sat right up, he added. Cody Rhodes heaps praise on Seth Rollins. Having been a part of the wrestling business for more than 15 years, Cody Rhodes has faced the best of his generation. Seth Rollins is a star who stands out amongst the cream of the crop for him. Since making his return to WWE last April, Rhodes' first feud in the company was with Rollins as the two stars battled it out on three separate occasions. Most notably their match at Hell in a Cell 2022, which saw Cody fight through his torn pectoral injury and pick up the win. On his recent appearance on the Impulsive podcast, the American Nightmare sang the praises of the visionary, naming him as one of the best in the business today. I mean, this is Seth who, he's won every title known to man. He's in my book. I have my three top wrestlers and I try not to be in just our WWE bubble. I tried to look everywhere and I've wrestled everybody. I think he's, I always say he's top three. He's incredible, unreal. Over the years, whether it's been in WWE, AEW, or New Japan, Cody has faced the best of the best, from Seth Rollins, Kenny Omega, Kazuchika Okada, and Chris Jericho. After winning the Royal Rumble this past Saturday, the Georgia native is now set to do battle with Roman Reigns in the main event of WrestleMania 39 for the undisputed WWE Universal title. Continuing to speak on Impulsive, Cody Rhodes explained why this match against Roman at WrestleMania 39 means so much to him. I gotta finish the story. For those who don't know, 1978, my dad won the WWE title, but it was by over-the-top rope or disqualification is how he won the match. 
Rhodes added, I had that picture and that was my first dream ever, like, I'm gonna get it to him. I have the belt too, the original one. I showed it to Vince when we had our first meeting but as much as that belt is special, what Roman is is it. If Cody Rhodes is to win at WrestleMania, he will have to do something no superstar has been able to do in well over three years and that is pin Roman Reigns' shoulders to the mat for a count of three. Will Cody Rhodes walk out of WrestleMania 39 as undisputed champion? Let us know your predictions in the comments section below. Finn Balor gives himself a hilarious new nickname after Royal Rumble. Finn Balor wasn't able to outrun his problems at the Royal Rumble on Saturday night. The leader of the Judgment Day entered the men's Royal Rumble match at the number 20 spot this year but didn't have a long run due to the return of Edge at 24, who was responsible for eliminating both Balor and Damian Priest from this matchup. But the Judgment Day had the last laugh as they gained up and helped eliminate the Rated R Superstar after already being eliminated from the match. This led to the three men brawling up the long entranceway, which eventually saw Rhea Ripley and Beth Phoenix get involved as well. A particularly funny image of Edge chasing Balor down at the Royal Rumble has made its way around social media in the past couple of days. An image that Finn Balor decided to use to give himself a new nickname, tweeting out. Use Balor PS, I tripped on a camera cable camera emoji at DTF Mania, Finn Balor said in a tweet. The Judgment Day thought they were done with Edge and Beth Phoenix at WWE Extreme Rules when Finn Balor defeated the Rated R Superstar in an I Quit match. The faction thought they were rid of their former leader, only for him to reappear Saturday night at the Royal Rumble alongside his wife, Beth Phoenix. But Edge didn't stop there as he went on to attack the Judgment Day multiple times last night on Monday Night Raw. If the Judgment Day plans to continue ruling over Monday nights, they'll want to come up with a new plan to take down Edge and Beth Phoenix sooner rather than later. What do you make of Balor's latest nickname for himself? Are you interested in seeing the rivalry between the Judgment Day and Edge continue? Let us know your thoughts by sounding off in the comments section below. Solo Sokoa pledges loyalty to Roman Reigns following Sami Zayn's betrayal. After an eventful Royal Rumble this past Saturday, Roman Reigns still seems to have the loyalty of his younger cousin and the Bloodlines enforcer, Solo Sokoa. This weekend saw the honorary youth Sami Zayn finally crack. He refused to assault his lifelong friend, Kevin Owens, leading to him hitting Roman in the back with a steel chair and effectively ending his ties with the group. An emotionally conflicted Jey Uso chose to walk out on the Bloodline after the rest of them began to assault the former honorary youth. With battle lines seemingly drawn among the family members, Solo Sokoa has taken to Twitter to highlight his continued allegiance to the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Loyalty tweeted the SmackDown star. At the Royal Rumble, Roman's run of dominance continued as he defeated Kevin Owens to retain the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. That means he has now been champion for more than 880 days. With the Royal Rumble in the rearview mirror, all the attention now turns towards one of the most anticipated premium live events on the WWE calendar, the Elimination Chamber. According to a recent report from Dave Meltzer, who wrote in the Wrestling Observer Daily Update, Roman will go one-on-one -on -one with Sami Zayn at the event. Roman Reigns vs. Sami Zayn is now as confirmed as it can be for the 218th Elimination Chamber show main event in Montreal. Elimination Chamber is sure to be an emotional night for Sami Zayn, as the show is set to take place in his hometown of Montreal, Canada. The premium live event is also the last major show before WrestleMania 39 takes place on April 1st and 2nd. What was your reaction to Sami Zayn betraying Roman Reigns and the Bloodline? Let us know in the comments section below. Sami Zayn reunites with Kevin Owens. WWE has released a new t-shirt design for top superstar Sami Zayn. The merch indicates that the honorary use may be reuniting with his longtime rival, friend, Kevin Owens. Zayn has been one of WWE's hottest acts ever since he joined the Bloodline several months ago. The former Intercontinental Champion trended all weekend after he turned face at the Royal Rumble and smacked undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns with a chair. The decision led to the Tribal Chief and the rest of the group, aside from Jey Uso, putting a severe beating on Zayn to end the show. If the WWE Universe were curious as to where the story was going next then they need look no further than the latest merchandise drop for the former Intercontinental Champion. The new t-shirt design has Zayn's name duct taped over use, similar to how Kevin Owens' marquee t-shirt has his initials, KO, duct taped on the front. Sami Zayn's act of bravery at the Royal Rumble will most likely put him on a collision course with Roman Reigns. The latest reports on the storyline state that Reigns will defend his title against Zayn at the Elimination Chamber Premium Live event in late February, which takes place in Zayn's hometown of Montreal, Quebec. However, WWE has yet to confirm the matchup, nor has there been an update on Zayn or Kevin Owens since the bloodline left them lying unconscious to end the rumble. It is also not known where Jey Uso, who refused to participate in the attack, stands. He did release a post on Instagram seemingly claiming that he was out of the bloodline moving forward. How do you think the Sami Zayn and bloodline story will play out? Sound off in the comments below. Sami Zayn trashes the bloodline.
Wrestling Twitter was left heartbroken over Sami Zayn's first tweet since the tragic events of Royal Rumble 2023. At Royal Rumble, Zayn betrayed the bloodline and attacked an unsuspecting Roman Reigns with a steel chair. Zayn was then mercilessly brutalized by the bloodline, minus Jey Uso, who decided to head backstage instead. The former honorary use was silent for days following the events that transpired at the Royal Rumble. He finally put up a tweet, and it looks like he is done with the bloodline for good. Zayn has thrown all of his bloodline memorabilia in the trash, judging by his latest Twitter post. Fans have been dreading Sami Zayn's exit from the bloodline for a long time, and the unthinkable finally happened at Royal Rumble. 2023. After Roman Reigns win over Kevin Owens, the bloodline brutally beat him up. Zayn was then told to attack a helpless KO as well, which he didn't want to do. The former honorary use's refusal to attack his former best friend angered Roman Reigns. Zayn finally agreed to follow Reigns' orders but ended up attacking the tribal chief with the chair to a loud pop from the fans in attendance. Sami Zayn's decision cost him dearly and he was kicked out of the bloodline immediately after. It took quite a lot of effort on Zayn's part to gain Reigns and the bloodline's trust. All of his efforts went astray the moment he hit Reigns with the chair. Judging by Sami's latest tweet, the Sami bloodline saga has come to an end and is now part of history. It remains to be seen what's next for Zayn and if he will be able to exact revenge on the bloodline over what happened at Royal Rumble 2023. What are your reactions to Sami Zayn's actions following his exit from the bloodline? Let us know in the comments section below. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take 